Portland city leaders are launching a new campaign to help support local businesses. As we all know, our local shops, our pl favorite places to eat, uh, they're all hurting right now amid the pandemic, and some even closing for good. Yeah, they really need our help. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz joins us live with the message and what one jewelry shop owner says needs to happen to get this city back on track. Sarah? Oh yeah, that campaign is called Be Here for Portland. It's about supporting local shops like this jewelry shop here. This is Medallion Jewelers in downtown Portland. It has been hit multiple times with vandalism and it's also been looted. The owner tells me that in order to get the city back on track, there are a number of things that need to happen. In late May 2020, Portland businesses took heavy blows. Alex Talakub's jewelry shop never recovered. Our income is next to zero, and uh, we're just trying to make it day by day and see how far we can go. Medallion Jewelers in downtown Portland has been looted and hit with vandalism multiple times. One example of many businesses in Portland that need the community's support. We're trying to survive this and hopefully put it behind us. What we're asking people to do is to shop and to eat and to order locally. And now Mayor Ted Wheeler and city leaders are encouraging the community to be here for Portland. Let's put local first. The campaign, Talakub says, is crucial. I witnessed a couple other of our colleagues uh, that they were packing up yesterday. I asked them <laughs> what gives they said we're leaving because the outlook as to where the downtown is going to come back to where it was looks like pretty far away. And in order to get people back to downtown, he says leaders need to clean up the city. You can't feel safe when you come here and you run into, you know, some uh, not very pretty scenes. Whatever they were doing before, they need to do maybe five times more to keep it clean, um, make it safe, make people feel safe. I'm and Mayor Wheeler says that he wants businesses to know that they are not alone and that the city will continue to work with them to address all of the issues right now. Now, the mayor says that he has been in contact with local businesses ahead of tomorrow's inauguration day about possible demonstrations. He says at this point they do not know, they're not aware of any threats to the city. Reporting live here in downtown Portland, Sarah Horwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.